I'm getting ready for a mini Maker Faire and you've seen this circuit before. This was a few videos ago. The Cascade D flip-flop. And there's two chips here and each chip has two flip-flops in it. Well, what I'm going to use this for is this. You can see I've got four chips so that's eight flip-flops all, all together. So that means that the last LED all the way to the right, uh, looking at it this way, is 128. Now when the viewer walks by, that LED is going to be on the left, like this. And here's the setup. You can see that I've got a telephone over there and I'm going to use that to also clock this circuit. But we're going to start off with the 555 timer and then go to the dial on that telephone. Okay, I've got this all set up. Right now the clock is going to run, the 555 timer. And when I turn this on, I've got this set up so it does a bulb test. In other words, all the bulbs should be lit. So let's turn on the power. There we go. All the bulbs were lit. And now you can see the 555 timer clocking all these flip-flops. And the camera's a little close. These numbers actually do line up a lot better when you're looking at it in person. And there's the highest number here, 128. Okay, now it'll just keep going like this and going and going and going. I've had this thing running for weeks to make sure that there be no problems with it. So now I'm going to disconnect the 555 timer and what's going to happen is the input to the first flip-flop is going to see 60 cycles in the air so this is going to run very very fast for a few minutes and what I'm going to do is turn off the timer and hook up this phone. Okay. Now, what I want to do is reset everything. So, I'll do a bulb test. Yep, everything is working. And when I dial a 1, that will reset everything. Now, what I'm going to do now is just dial a 10, 2, and 8. I'll dial another 10, 4, and 16, and so on. Here's 30. And here's 40, of course, 8 and 32, and so on. The purpose of this demonstration is to show the way things are stored in computers using 1s and zero, the binary number system. Thanks for watching.